Hey, good morning, 2A. Welcome back to Core Math. Today we'll be going over Module 4, Lesson 24, with yours truly, Mr. Andrews, working from home. And today happens to be May 8th, 2020, which is Amari's birthday. So happy birthday, Amari. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's fun that it's a Friday, but it's a little bit different being at home all the time now. But I hope you have a wonderful time today and that it's a special day for you today. I mean, it's already special because you're here with me. And on top of it being Amari's birthday today, guys, let's change up the scenery a little bit. Because today is Fantastic Friday. A day dedicated to celebrating the amazing sharks that live in our oceans. And maybe we'll see some shark friends visit us during today's lesson. So let's jump right into it today. All right, our learning target this week has been to understand that great mathematicians use our understanding of place value to add and subtract using a strategy that makes sense to us. So let's review. Can you solve these problems in your head? Use what you know about related math facts to help you. So first one, 36 minus six. Think about it. All right, nice job. Yeah, 36 minus six is 30. And if we go back and look at the problem, we know that there's three in the tens place in 36. So we know that 33 is going to carry over and 6 minus 6 is 0. All right, so let's look at a problem kind of similar. So now it's 36 minus 7. All right, so 29. Some of you may have to put 36 in your head and count it back 7. That's great. But remember, if 36 minus 6 is 30, 36 minus 7, that's one more. So we know we're just going to go one more down to 29. All right, let's look at another similar problem. 136 minus 36. Go. All right. Not getting tricked today, are you guys? Right? 136 minus 36 would be 100. Again, we're looking at this, the place values. So we see there's 100 there. And then 36 minus 36, any number taken away from itself is always going to equal 0. So that's leaving us with 0 in the tens place and zero in this one's place. All right, let's do one more. 36, 136, excuse me, minus 37. All right, so it's one more than before. So what's it gonna be? Kiss your brains, guys. Exactly, 99, because 37 is one more than 36, right? So that means we have to go past 100 to 99. All right, you guys are getting the hang of this, all right? Again, see the relationship between all these numbers. All right, so let's do a couple more. So 130 minus 30. Exactly, 100. Again, looking at the hundreds place, looking at the tens place, 30 minus 30 is going to be zero, so leaving us with just 100. What about 130 minus 20? Mm, a little bit different. Ooh, I can see some of you are counting back in your head. Skip counting by tens, nice. So it equals 110. In my head, I knew, well, it's 10 less than 30. So, or 20 is 10 less than 30. So I'm gonna be left with 10 in the tens place. So it's gonna be 110. And last one, 130 minus 40. Mm, okay, you guys aren't getting tricked today, nice job. Right? So if 40 is more than if 40 is 10 more than 30, it means we're gonna be taking away from a hundredths place. And it's gonna leave us with 90. Great job. Alright, so let's use these kinds of facts, keep these kinds of mental skills in our heads as we jump into our practice problems today. Whoa! A whale shark jumping into our movie, our video? Yeah, what's up, dude? Fun fact, whale sharks are the largest shark in the world, but they eat only small plankton, they're like teeny tiny. So you never, you don't actually have to worry about a whale shark ever swallowing you up. All right, so practice problems for today. First one we're gonna jump into is 134, and let's represent this using flat sticks and dots. As always, we always wanna start off by creating our HTO chart. And I always like to annotate. All right, 
So 134 minus 70. Which number am I going to represent first on my ECO chart? Exactly. I'm going to represent 134. Nice. Yeah. Always, when we're subtracting, always representing the bigger number first. So I draw 100, three tens, and one, two, three, four ones. All right. So now we're ready to take away. Take away 70, in fact. So what place value do we start with? Exactly. Always start in the ones place. So I look back at 70. I see there's zero in the ones place. So we don't have to take anything away. 40 minus zero, or four minus zero is still four. All right. So we know there's going to be four left. All right. So then we're left with three tens. Take away seven tens. Can we do that? No. Good. We're not getting tricked. We have to make sure that we regroup. Good. All right. So I'm going to take my hundred. We're going to move that over. Now I'm going to draw 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So now we got 13 tens in the tens place. All right. Well, I know 10 tens minus 7 is 3. So 3 and 3 is 6. But let's just double check that. Let me just cross out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I count what's left over. And I have. How many? Yeah, six. So I was right. All right. Learning those mental math facts are helping out. And do we have anything in the hundreds place? No, good. You're not getting tricked, right? We move that hundred over into the tens place. So 134 minus 70 is 64. Good job. All right. Let's do one more prize problem. This one's going to be a little bit trickier. But again, think about how we can use those related math facts to help us. All right, so we have 126 minus 47. So let's jump right into it. Again, we can use flat six and dots. So I'm going to start off by labeling my HTO chart. All right, and we're going to start always by representing the larger number. 100, two tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now we're going to take away 47. We always start in the one place. Great. Good job. This mom. All right, so six take away seven. Well, seven's one more than six. And I know from my math, like my math, that it's, I'm going to have to have a nine in the one's place. All right. But I don't. So what do I have to do to make sure I get that nine over? Exactly. We have to regroup. So I'm going to Take one of my tens. I'm going to draw an arrow. I'm going to move that over and draw ten once. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So now we can take away seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at that. I'm left with nine ones. So mentally, I knew I was going to end up with nine, but I still knew I had to regroup. All right. So then I'm left with one ten left over. But can I take four away from one? No, I can't. So what do we have to do? Exactly. Regroup. All right. So I'm going to take my hundred, move it over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten tens plus one is eleven tens. Now I can take away one, two, three, four, and I'm left with seven. And do I have anything in the hundreds place? No. All right, so I'm left with 79. Nice job, guys. Give yourselves a kiss on the brain, and let's finish up. Oh, a hammerhead shark can make an appearance in our video. Fun fact is that hammerhead sharks have 360-degree vision. They can see front, side, and behind them because of those funky eyes. All right, so remember our target was to understand the place value and, and using it to add and subtract. So make sure that you pick a strategy that makes sense and show your work. Regroup when needed, starting in the ones place, and submit your work in standard form in the answer box. <gasps> oh, the majestic great white shark. <gasps> Ooh, scary. Fun fact, great white sharks can jump up to 15 feet in the air out of the water. All right, so thanks so much for watching our video today, 2A. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again next week.